certified most accurate. Now your TV5 first alert forecast. Through the spring and even portions of the summer, we've been working with dry weather, but the month of July is kind of playing catch up for us. You're actually going to find as we look at the data for this month, many of us have been pouring out the rain gauge and I'm sure a lot of our farm fields are very happy to kind of be seeing this catch up because in the Saginaw area, we saw just under seven inches in our rain gauge, 6.9 to be exact, about 5.03 to be very precise, registered and Flint at the airport and Houghton Lake seeing about 2.8 inches for all of us for the month that puts everybody above average, though it's a little bit above average in Houghton Lake, about two tenths of an inch, but we saw big gains in Saginaw. And what does this mean for the summer season? Well, it actually puts a uh, well Flint and Saginaw. You're above average for the summer season being June and July. Of course, we'll see what August brings, and at least we don't have too much work to be gaining here as far as only being down a half inch for the summer season for Houghton. Lake. Now we even are talking about some showers and storms later on this afternoon. You're going to find those starting to develop around three, four o'clock and some of these storms could be on the stronger side. So we will be eyeing the potential for some water spouts there on Lake Huron and even that threat will continue as we go into the dinner hour. But once we lose that daytime heating, the forecast quiets down overnight. But for your Tuesday, once again, we're still going to be seeing some of those isolated shower chances returning in our forecast. So make sure just keeping an eye to radar with the TV5 First Alert weather app. Another thing to know is the wildfire smoke is going to be staying high up in the atmosphere, but causing milky skies. For the photographers, heads up, your sunset's going to be at 8.59 p.m. tonight, and that means that you could have some of those vivid sunsets that you're going to want to capture. Another thing to note, though, if you like the daylight, well, we're not gaining it, we're losing it. Our next 9 p.m sunset isn't going to be until May 21st of next year. So it's going to be a while until we see those later sunsets. But what's a minute amongst friends? Now, in the meantime, we are going to be looking at those rain chances. They're very isolated as we go through this week. So many of us are going to be working with those showers as we're going throughout our days. Highs are going to be into the 80s. And by the weekend, it looks like our forecast settles down a little bit. Of course, we hope to keep it that way as you're already thinking about some plans for your Saturday and Sunday. Again, make sure you stay updated on that TV5 First Alert weather app. Stay with WNEM TV5 on air, on the go, and online for more news and weather updates.